Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strong at Cast Iron Cookwire. We can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookwire. Today we're going to be doing a product review on the Flofster Electric Salt and Pepper Grinders. And we're going to be doing that coming right up. Okay, before we get started, I just want to say that Flofster did not pay for this video. They did, however, send a product to me to try out, to do a product review for my channel. I just want to say thank you to Flofster for sending their products to me so that I can do a product review on them. So I'm sure you've noticed that my set has kind of undergone a little bit of a metamorphosis. I'm working on the ability to be able to display all of my cast iron and also have easy access to it so I can use it when I get ready to use a piece. So if you noticed the last video, the backdrop was really bland, probably the same color as my beard. So, my, so I was a little bit invisible on some of it. Today it's still a little bit bland. All we have is pegboard in the background. I will kind of pan around and show you a little bit about what I've been doing here lately. First of all, you can see I got all my cast iron just piled up all over the place. I got some Dutch ovens over here in the corner and I put up some furring strips in my spare room and I'm planning on putting pegboard all the way around the room on this side, even on the other side. Got to work on the ceiling. Got a lot of repairs to do in this spare room, but this will eventually be covered in cast iron. There's still some dust right over here from where I cut these pieces and I'm going to be putting a shelf across there and cover up that rough line. So I'm hoping it'll look really nice when I get done. And by the way, I got a new countertop. Eventually I'll be putting a cooktop in here and a sink and I'll have a cutting board and a display area. I also want to give a thank you shout out to Smith's Woodworking in Albertville, Alabama for helping me with this countertop. It is a faux marble and I believe it's going to look really nice. I've got a 10 foot bar top. so. I'll be able to uh, do everything I need to do on this. Hopefully I will be able to film on a little bit of a wider range and not be so confined into a small space on the video. So let's get started with our unboxing. I got this in about a week ago and I've waited to open it until I was able to start the video. So I've been really anxious to see. And this is from Flofster Kitchen. Wow, they also sent the coffee mill as well. It says, thank you for choosing Flofster Kitchen Coffee Grinder. Welcome to the family. We'll be looking at this here in a few minutes. But my main attention was on this Flofster battery operated salt and pepper grinder set. Now I'm really excited about this because I have had some manual grinders and I've had nothing but trouble out of them. So let's take our packaging, pretty straightforward packaging. So let's open here. It's got a little bit of a safety seal. It's going to lift it straight out. along with the nice packaging. This is just a quick startup kit as well, showing how to install the batteries and how to adjust the coarseness. Put this out of the way. See warning, inserting the batteries wrongly leads to little or no grinding. 
There we go. If you put them in wrong, it won't work. Or not work as well, I suppose. If you put two of them in right, two of them in wrong, it may work a little. I don't know. But we're going to put them in correctly. So let's go get us some batteries. First of all, it's got this nice little rubber foot on the bottom. And whenever you store it, you don't have to worry about particles, you know, falling out. And I really like this handy little little piece right here. And this looks really nice. This will look nice on any kitchen table or oven stove. Nice, nice look. Okay, right off the bat, we're going to put the batteries in it. And we can see right here, there are two little lines and they're offset. You basically turn those two lines and you're open. And the battery's going to the top. Now, I don't know if you can see it on here, but there is a positive, negative, positive, negative, the way you have to turn your batteries. So next, we just put our cap, find our marks, put our marks together. Press down and turn till it clicks and you're good. Okay, we got power. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our peppercorns. And right here we have locked and unlocked. Right now the arrows are lined up on locked, so we're going to turn it and you'll hear a click to unlocked. I'm just going to take a spoon. I'm going to shovel them in there. I don't know how much is overfilled, but I pretty much filled it up. So we're going to go ahead and line up or unlocked and then turn it to a locked. So now we should be ready to go. Remember to take off your bottom before you start using it because chances are you'll be using it thinking nothing's coming out. And that's a good reason why. So let's go with the process on our other one. Line up our arrows. Give it a press. Now it's got a good spring until we hear the click. Okay. We'll do the same thing with the salt as we did with the peppers. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt here. Okay, we're going to line up our arrows to the unlocked and then click it into locked. There we go. We should be ready for business. I'm going to use a paper plate here and just... Oh yeah. Probably need a darker color plate. Let's try our pepper. Now I haven't adjusted the grind at all. It has a nice little LED right here that well, you can see now, with all the lights in here, you can't hardly tell it. But uh, let's go to a course, all the way to course. And you see it has a much coarser grind. And the aroma is just wafting up. Okay, now that we have some pepper in there, let's try our salt. And the salt is already set to coarse. Tell you how we can make this a little easier. 
Let's take our little Lady Bess skillet here. And you can go as even as you want. I mean, that right there is evenly coated. That's it coarse. So we're going to do some coarse on one side. Then we're going to raise it a little. We're going to raise it to And you can pretty much see the difference in the coarseness. And you can adjust, and it's nice and simple. This is pretty much the coarseness of table salt, maybe a little bit finer. All the way up to almost like kosher salt. Okay, we're going to start off with our fine setting. And that's about what you'd see in your pepper shaker. Maybe a little finer than you would see with your pepper shaker. Loosen it up just a little bit. And we're going for a course a little more as we go. And you're starting to see a really coarse now. And as we go, and there we go. That is the difference. We have the very fine right here, which is really a lot uh, finer than you would have in your pepper shaker. And a little bit more coarse as it goes. See what this styrofoam is causing this stuff to have static and it's just kind of wanting to go its own direction. But this here is really, really coarse. Now there is a nice range with that and I'm telling you, see if we can get it to look down in here. The adjustment is really simple. I can say this, if you have it really fine and it's really tightened down, if you tighten it down too tight, it won't work because once you close the door all the way, nothing's coming out. So you have to back it up a little bit so that it will work and you'll have an ultra fine grind. I want to say another thing too that I like about this is it's battery operated. Now you may like rechargeable batteries, but me, I have had terrible experience with rechargeable batteries. Usually the charging system quits way before the item quits. I like this because I'll be able to use this until it is war slap out. And I believe it's going to take a while because it is made very well. I've done some research on uh, salt and pepper grinders. And what I've seen in my research was Flopster was the best. So when I decided I really needed a salt and pepper grinder, I decided to go ahead and, and contact Flopster and say, look, I like your product a lot. 
I have a YouTube channel. I would like to review your product. Can you send me some products so I can share it with my subscribers? And I'm telling you what, I really like it. Uh, the fit and finish is awesome. Everything is tight. Now I dropped these a while ago and they bounced all over the table. You didn't get that on camera, but I'm telling you what, they are tough. They are made really nice. I like the stainless steel look. They look really nice in this caddy. I'm telling you what, they're going to look nice on my table. They're small enough to fit in your hand where you can control them with your thumb. You can't really see it on camera, but there is a, a light right there that comes on. So if you're enjoying a candlelight dinner with your loved one and you still want to be able to see what you're putting on your food, that's the way to go. Nice, elegant piece. I really like it. I believe it's going to be long lasting. The fit and finish is awesome. All the components fit tight. The lid fits tight. There's no, there's no, except for the peppercorns inside, there's no rattling. It's nice and solid. Also, when it comes to grinding salt, not too long ago, I had a nice little coffee grinder that I really loved and my son needed to grind some salt. He said, Dad, can I use your grinder to grind some salt? I said, go right ahead. Little did I know that that salt destroyed my little grinder and I had to go out and buy another one. The grinder itself is made with ceramic instead of stainless steel or some kind of metal. So the ceramic is not going to be dissolved by the salt. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go on to our next step. Here we have the Flofster coffee grinder. Now I am a coffee fanatic. I love good coffee. I love grinding my own coffee. Now if you want fresh coffee, you definitely want to grind it yourself. So here we have the, the Flofster coffee grinder. And uh, it comes in this really nice box. I'll tell you what, the box is really put together nice. We have our Flofster coffee bean sack. Of course, we have our information about our grinder. Manual coffee grinder. And also right here we have, I suppose, our getting started booklet that talks about our grinder. So let's put it over here. Now we have these packed really well. See here we have our little, looks like a little container for our coffee, which is really nice. Nice little triangle shape right there. I suppose this here is for maintenance. This here I imagine is a crank for the grinder. And it has a nice little triangle shape as well. This is really heavy. We'll put our handle on until it matches the hole. Now there's a little kind of a rectangle, a rounded rectangle hole, and it's got to go over the rounded rectangle part on your grinder. Okay, and this works on the same principle as the uh, salt and pepper grinders. We have a lock. So let's get some coffee beans and try this out. Now this lid works the same way as this lid on this little reservoir here. You just give it a turn and it comes right off. I suppose this little jar here is for our coffee bean. And I can see why it's a triangle shape because it does make it handy 
pour it to pour into the grinder. And there we go. And uh, it also has measurements in tablespoons. And also you can control the grind settings. So I'm going to do a little bit of a test on the grind coarseness. Now that's really, really fine right there. Probably espresso fine. That's probably a little more fine that you'd want to have in an automatic drip machine. We're going to loosen up on the grind just a little bit and go beside it. And that's a little thicker. That's a little thicker grind right there. Lighten up just a little more. And so you can control the grind. And that's, that's about the way I like mine for my automatic drip. So you can control that. So we're going to go ahead and add our, our bottom. This has the same ceramic. This has the same ceramic grinder or burr grinder as the uh, salt and pepper shaker has. So we have about we have about of course I'm going to lean it sideways. There's about two out two teaspoons there. Now for the coffee that I take to work every day, I grind about the same amount every single day. And I use this little two ounce shot glass to measure. So two teaspoons is around one ounce. So we're going to need another ounce. Okay, let's see where we're at. That's what I use for my coffee. I use two ounces for my coffee in the morning. So two ounces is about the same as eight tablespoons in the grinder. And this is exactly what I use for a cup and the grind is absolutely perfect for what I, I'm using. Of course, it's a lot better and more even than my automatic grinder. So if you really would like to have the same coffee every single day, this is the way to go. Okay, we want to go ahead and do a rundown of what we have found during our review. Number one, we're going to talk about the price point. On Flopster's website, you can get the electric salt and pepper grinder for $29.99 with the Caddy. You can also get one grinder for $17.99. And that's, that's a pretty good price when you consider the technology and also the quality of workmanship. Uh, number two, I want to talk about the fit and finish. They are definitely elegant and they will look good on any kitchen table or countertop, anywhere you'd like to put it. It's going to look nice because it is elegant. That's just one thing about it. It, uh, it looks aesthetically pleasing. As uh, far as the fit and finish, it, they are made really tight. The only rattle you get, even if you shake it hard, is the peppercorns. Now when it's empty, you get no rattle at all. All the, the caps and the connections, they fit really tight and snug. You can hear when they're locked and unlocked. And it's uh, pretty solid. And visually, you can see it according to the arrows, you know, unlocking it and locking it. The batteries 
have a really good spring. If you notice when I put them in, there it's really strong, which keeps the lid on tight. Replacing the batteries is really easy. It's not it's not a big headache. Some of the pepper grinders, you have to take the thing all apart just to change the batteries. This one here is really easy to change. It's put together really well. It's got a little bit of heft to it. It's not too heavy. It's just, just solid all together. It just feels really good, really well made. I think they've done a great job. Now the manual coffee grinder, from a price point, it retails on Flofster's website for $17.99, which is not very much. And it looks really nice. The fit and finish is nice and sleek. It matches the salt and pepper grinder. It's got that nice uh, kind of matte stainless steel finish look to it. It's made really well, made really tight. It's collapsible for travel. Really, I think this would be a great travel piece, especially if you love coffee and you if you love coffee you want it freshly ground and you can't always get that when you're out on the road and you can also carry your supply now it's sealed in this airtight container now if you grind your own coffee but you leave your coffee beans out to get stale then it's not really doing you a lot of good but this is airtight this is airtight and it clicks lets you know it's closed so Nice little set as a travel piece. I think it would be great for travel. Now you're not going to be making 10 or 15 pots of coffee with it because you're going to do a lot of grinding, even though it grinds very well. This is small amounts at a time. So uh, fit and finish, it is made really well. The same principle applies with the locks and caps. Adjustment is really easy, as it is also with the adjustments on the salt and pepper grinders. One thing you have to make sure you always grind clockwise. Now if you try to grind counterclockwise you're going to cause issues. For one I don't think it's going to work very well. It's just designed to go clockwise. But in the instructions it says do not use it counterclockwise because you may damage it. Overall I think Flofster has made some great products. I believe I'm going to be using them for quite a while. You definitely want to make sure when you clean them, just wipe them down with, with a, a wipe of some kind. Don't use a lot of water. Definitely do not put them in the sink or the dishwater. Uh, make sure you keep them out of water because this is electric. I personally like the battery operated versions instead of the chargeables because chargeable batteries, uh, they just give you a lot of trouble. And you can change these and get fresh batteries every now and then and you're back on top again. I just want to thank Flofster for sending them to me. It's a great product. I'm going to be using these for a long time to come. And I'm sure you'll be seeing these on my videos for a long time to come as well. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on new videos when they come out. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you would like to be a part of our Facebook group that has just got started, it's called Cast Iron Cookware. I'll leave a link to that as well. And if you would like to receive emails from Cast Iron Cookware, you can sign up for that in the video description. I'll leave a link to all these in the description. Also to the Flofster website. They have been kind enough to give me a code for discounts. I'll leave it in the video description as well. So go to their website, check them out. And with Flofster, they only make a few products, but they have done a good job with those products. So check them out. I believe they're a good company. They're a good family owned company. So give them a click, uh, check them out and use the coupon code if you're interested in buying one of their grinders. So thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware.